Good morning. It's 6 a.m. Welcome to another day of my life. Need to start today by taking eBay photos. Okay, focus is a bit weird, I think. Okay, um, photos are done, didn't have many to photo this morning. I need to bag and tag them, which I'm gonna do next. And then I need to do my parcels, but I thought I would show you, speaking of parcels, something that arrived yesterday. So, bear with. I'm not dressed, by the way. I quite often start work in the mornings in pajamas and then get dressed afterwards. And one of the reasons I'm not dressed today is because I'm going to the gym and I don't want to do, start doing work in sports bar, because sports bar needs to be on for the least amount of time possible. <laughs> Anyway, I had this parcel arrive with a card. The card says, thank you for being absolutely bloody brilliant, which I think is an excellent card. Inside it says, hi Carla, I hope you don't mind. I lost my beloved Bo the Boxer a few weeks ago. I'm so sorry. And um, whilst sorting through her things, I came across these coats and thought they might be useful for your four-legged crew. The blue one was made for her, so I thought it might make a template for any more attempts you may make, sorry. For any more any more attempts you may try. As the card says, thank you for being you, for being true to life, for your no-nonsense approach and for making my Tuesdays that much better. Well done on your continued weight loss journey. You're doing great. T. I don't know who T is, but thank you so much, T. There's no return details on this. There's no giving away who T... Well, there is return details, but it doesn't say... If it does say, I can't read it. But thank you, T. And in the parcel is this one, which, as she says, was made for her dog. That looks a really good size for Molly, actually. But yeah, also maybe a lovely template. Really well made as well. I don't know who made this for you, but it's beautifully done. And then this one, which is, again, probably more Molly than Kai. Kai's a big old boy. He's got a lot of floof going on, but a lovely winter coat. So thank you so much, T, for sending those. I feel a lovely card. I love that. I am going to pick my orders. Um, there's only I've, I've only got three, I think, parcels to do this morning because we did some last night. So I'm going to pick my orders and bag and tag these clothes. I'll be back in a bit. OK, I've got three parcels to do. Firstly, the empty Pandora bags and boxes have gone for... £12 plus postage. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Heroes bed set, duvet cover and pillowcase, £12.99 plus postage. And five issues of Figure International magazine have gone for £15.99 plus postage. I had um, about 30 issues of this, and there's only one little um, job lot left. So, And they've nearly all gone to the same buyer, but he's bought them bit by bit rather than buying them all at once. So who knows who knows but yes yeah, so i'm going to do my parcels and uh, that's another job done okay i'm about to get ready for the gym but I want to show you these before I put them on because I think they look better off, them, off me than they do on. These are leggings from Llama Leisure. Now, um, this is not sponsored. I paid for them with my own money, but I needed to show you them because Llama Leisure do the most funky prints and designs you can possibly imagine. So um, they are, I can't, I don't even know what they're made of, but they're so super soft and so super comfy. I wanted to show you these and also I asked the lady at Lama Leisure if I could have a discount code for you guys and she's said if you use CJ10 you will get 10% off your order. You've got to go and look, you've got to go and look at these funky prints and I'm telling you these are the most comfortable and softest leggings in the world ever. I don't even know what the fabric content is. Hang on, I'll have a look. It's 92% polyester, 8% spandex. And they are just, I've tried them on already. I'm gonna put them on now and show you. Oh, look at them. 
I'm, I'm assuming it's the spandex that makes them feel so amazing. They just feel unbelievable. They're really, really comfy. Obviously, I went for the dog print, but I'm going to... You'll have seen some footage on the side of some of the others. They're amazing. Remember, CJ10 gets you 10% off. And um, uh, thanks, Katie at Llama Leisure, for the discount code. I appreciate that. And I'll probably be using it myself to get some more at some point. Aren't they fab? When super glamorous people on films clean their teeth, is there never any froth? Why don't they use toothpaste? recording look I was just saying without pressing the record button that Josh and I talked about whether we were going to buy much this is the um, this is the first shop that we've stopped at today I've bought five things which I've hidden Josh has bought five things which he hasn't hidden very well did you bring a bag yeah you did so yeah first stop we're in Winterbourne we're in Winterbourne that was our first stop of the day we've already bought five things each we're definitely not buying much today oh, steps off the curb the plan is definitely to keep the spending to a minimum <laughs> <laughs> Researching, Josh? No, she's looking at the news. And dreamy Rishi Sina. You'll have to fight Caroline for him. <laughs> We're in Weatherspoons for lunch. It's not here yet. Lunch has arrived. Josh has got ham and cheese panini and chips and onion bargies. Thank you very much. And he says the onion bargies are very good. We're in Weatherspoons, but I don't know if I said that. So yeah, good, good bargies. And that's got panini and chips and chicken bites. I've got a jacket potato and some chicken bites and roasted vegetables. The food is actually really nice, but it's also really bloody hot. <laughs> a few inches later. We're home from shopping and I have hit the plastic a bit. There is a branch of yours clothing in Yate and I hit the plastic a little bit. So I thought I'd show you some new clothes. Are you ready? Okay, first top. I spent £140 on the plastic. This one was, I think, £28.99. Can you see the tag? I'll have a look in a minute. I got two pairs of leggings. So these ones are just kind of like a stonewash denim effect leggings. They look really small. I hope I picked up the right size. Yeah, they should be okay. I'm gonna say I didn't I didn't look at the didn't look at the actual size label on the items, only on the hanger, and sometimes things aren't on the right hanger, so that was silly of me. But yeah, stonewash leggings, these were £16. £16 quid is 
I suppose about average for yours clothing leggings these days. And then these are kind of like a another denim effect. You can't really see the effect very well. I think they were also 16, yeah. I'm gonna try these on with the other tops. So yeah, the first top, like this. I really like, I like an animal print and I really like stars in that as well. So raglan sleeve, nice. Try the leggings on with it. These are the kind of denim effect ones. I don't think the lighting's brilliant, so I'm sorry about that. It's a very bad time of day for trying to do anything in this house lighting wise. So yeah, there's, there's the denim ones, denim effect ones with the raglan top. So that first top was 16, sorry, 17.99. This one's 28.99. I really like it, but I think yours clothing might have lost their marbles because I had to get it in a 16. By no stretch of the imagination am I a size 16. And yet look at it, this is a 16, it's still really, really roomy. So I think they might have uh, lost the plot a bit in yours clothing. I really like it, I'm really pleased. Very pleased that it's 16, but I don't feel like I, I mean, the, the big ones looked, you know, the ones that were normally my size looked absolutely vast. But it's a nice warm, nice kind of warm jersey material. Pleased with that. Next up, long sleeve t-shirt again. With a camo lip print on the front. Really like this one. But this is a 26, 28. So see what I mean about that one being a bit weird that I managed to get into 16. This is a 26, 28. So who knows? This one's my favorite. This was 26, 99. It is a super soft, cuddly, really cozy, soft touch jumper with sequin star design and it just feels really snuggly really pleased with this one this was 28.99 did i just say that i'm not sure whether i just said that i don't know if i would wear it with leggings i would probably wear it with jeans and last one of the tops raglan sleeve t-shirt again with crisscross design they had this in several colors but i went for the black and gray because i thought it will go with most of the things that i wear anyway but they also had it in, I think, a burgundy and a blue. I'll try the other leggings on and then we'll be done. I got these in the same size. They are way too long. Look how long they are off my foot. And they are too small. And yet they are the same size. So it just goes to show that even in one store, I can't even get that up over my foot. It's so tight. So they're going to have to go back and be changed. Just goes to show how much sizes differ even in just one store. So yeah, that's a shame. They're gonna have to go back and there isn't a yours local, so I'll have to make a special trip. And they're not even up far enough for me to put up my stomach in. That's how, that's how low they are. So yeah, they're going back to be changed, but really pleased with the rest of it. Okay. I've changed into my lounge wear, which is actually a bit large now, but I um, didn't get much wear out of it last year. So I'm gonna keep on it. I'm gonna record my haul video from what I, uh, what I bought today when I was out with Josh. And then I think this evening, I'm not on a dog walk, it's my day off from dog walks. I think this evening is going to be in front of the telly and probably a fairly early night. I need to get mum shopping for her tomorrow, so um, I need to ring her and make sure when I ring mum tonight I get shopping list. That's just me making you guys my memory bank now. I'll be back in a bit, I'm off to record this video. It's half past six. I've got my dinner as you saw. This is um, homemade roasted carrot soup that I made yesterday. I've got as a treat a ciabatta roll from Marks and Spencer's to go with it and for my pudding some chocolate rice cakes and I'm going to find last night's Bake Off and that's me sitting here for at least an hour. Shows it's proved correctly. 
the thing that I particularly like is you haven't gone overboard with flavour and made it beautifully light. Okay. You kind of get this salty well, umami undertone. Lovely umami. As I should have been able to predict, I fell asleep on the sofa. It's only um, it's only ten past eight, and I think I've had a half hour nap. So uh, I think that's it for today. I'm going to go to bed. Thank you for watching this. I don't know if it's um. I feel like I, although I, I know I've had a busy day, I don't think I've recorded much, but until I edit, you never know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.